Hi everyone, my name is Ng Zi Wei, and today I'm going to present my project, College in the Forest. Our site is located at Kampong Baru, and the selected site 4 is located at Jalan Raja Ulu. From the plan, we can see that Kampong Baru is a piece of green land compared to the surrounding mega tower development. It is almost like a mini island in the middle of a giant city full of greeneries. A variety of trees and scrubs can be found along in Kampong Baru and also different types of flowers are blossoming around the neighborhood. The issue of the current Kampong Baru facing are the uprising commercial buildings being built that cause insufficient open spaces for the local community. Therefore, in the future, the traditional essence lifestyle of Kampong Baru, where different types of vegetation lots will soon disappear. By observing the site, we can see that the trees are shattered around the area and the main roads are being decorated by full of greeneries. Therefore, the idea is to maximize the green spaces of the building by preserving the existing trees and create terraces with greeneries on top. Tues by combining these two ideas, we can create more green spaces than the original size of the site. First, the trees are being planted at the center of the courtyard the building is being lifted up, inspired by the traditional Malay house concept. Next, the building volume is formed according to the local housing grid and series of terraces are created, cascading towards the natural park. Few volumes are removed to improve the building permeability. Last, by adding a giant cantilever roof in order to shade the interior of the building. The two different front entrance of the building is to differentiate the student entry and also the public entry. The vertical core and the staircase are placed at the back of the building whereby the classrooms are slotted into the structures. The construction methods are using the modular prefabrication system and last, the cantilever roof is being supported by the 18 primary columns. Primary columns are consist of four timber columns fixed to individual steel footings. Posts and beams are intersect with the columns. The structures are using glue lamp timber as main materials and cantilever roof are made of the steel web structures supported by the timber column and finished with metal cladding at the exterior and timber cladding in the interior. The internal courtyard allows the hot air rises and bring cooler air into the building which creates chimney effect whereby the roof is functional to harvest rainwater, provide shading to the interior and also collect solar energy during the daytime. The green roof helps to improve the air quality and also reduce the indoor temperature during day. The outdoor rest area, which was designed to view towards the KLCC, 
is a place for the user to gather and inspire conversation with people. The food street is a place to facilitate the local food vendors and the culinary students whereby they can sell and promote their food to the community. Whereas the users that enter from the natural park are direct to the center plaza which is hugged by levels of vegetation. The places are designed to provide different kinds of activities to fulfill the current needs, for example, culinary arts and cultural activities. At last, the public which enters from the front entrance will be greeted by the open courtyard where the local community gathers around and hold events which connects and reshape the new future of Kampong Baru. In conclusion, College in the Forest is a project that combines the local community and the nature together and successfully displays the beautiful essence of Kampong Baru. Thank you for listening.